Hello folks, happy Saturday and welcome to a, another episode of my free-to-play Marvel Strike Force adventure. Today is day 21. Um, the past two days have been, been pretty exciting for me. I'm uh, level 51, but boom, I unlocked Kestrel. Uh, as a matter of fact, right after the event ended. So I brought her up to level 50. Her skills are 5, 4, 4, and 2, and she's geared tier 7. So Kestrel is an amazing character because even at 2 stars, she does a lot. So let's take a second and take a look at her kit. So her primary attack, or her basic attack, attack primary target for 260% damage plus apply defense down. Chain to one adjacent target for 200% damage and apply defense down. Counter attack breaks this chain. It's pretty good for a, for a basic. Alright, the next one is light speed. <laughs> light speed blitz. Attack primary target and adjacent targets for 130% damage and apply defense down to each target. Repeat this attack one additional time apply speed up and defense up to self. This attack is unavoidable and cannot be blocked. Captain America, Captain Sam, can't block it. When I upgrade it to ability level five, I'll get 40% more damage to primary and secondary targets. Her ultimate, dimensional assault, clear death proof from primary target, Apply defense down to the primary target and attack for 300% piercing. Gain 5000% extra focus for this attack. Characters killed by this attack cannot be revived. Upgrade it to ability level 5 and I'll get another 100% piercing the primary target. Her passive, Dimension Hopper, on spawn, gain charged and offense up. On turn, Heal self 10% of max health and clear all negative effects from self. On turn, if charged and an enemy has attempted to summon or clone this match, clear charged. During an ally turn, if an enemy with defense down is attacked, attack the most injured enemy for 200% damage. While this character has charged, enemies cannot summon or clone. So she basically, she, she negates Phoenix, uh, she negates Ultron, she negates uh, Mr. Sinister. I mean, that's just plain awesome. When I upgrade that again, I'll gain 20% max health. If at least one ally is Cosmic or Nick Fury, gain 20% additional max health. Nick Fury allies gain 20% max health. So in the Secret Avengers team, you got Captain Sam, Maria Hill, Sharon Carter, and then you plop Nick Fury in there, and you plop her in there, and they synergize really, really well together. That that whole team is 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 brutal. So I'm I'm obviously not at max, but at, at where she's at, her health is thirty two thousand six hundred fifty seven. Her base damage is three thousand two hundred fifty two. Scoot it past that one too quick. Her armor is 1,839. Her focus is 980. Resistance, 749. Crit damage, 130%. Crit chance, 10%. Speed is 125, so she goes pretty quick. 0% dodge, 0% block chance. Um, Block amounts 25% and her accuracy is 100%. Chance to hit target with most attacks, 100%. Pretty good character, right? Like, that's why I say she's probably the best character in the game. I I'm sure others would, you know, disagree and they could probably point out somebody else. And, you know, I I if you can and want to, please feel free to add uh, a comment and we can discuss it. So this is this is my team. So this is who I'm working on right now. Um, Wolverine. I got him to gear tier nine and maxed all this for for his level. 
I mean, once, you know, I get to, what, 55, I think it is, 54, then I can get him to gear tier 10. Philovel got her to gear tier 9, pumped up her abilities to 5, 4, 4, and 3. We already looked at Kestrel. Gamora pumped her up a little bit. So once I get that fourth star on Gamora, I'm going to stop target farming her and just open Blitz Orbs because I need to uh, to expand the roster a little bit. Now, I'm not going to level all those characters up or anything. And then we got Nebula, who I'm almost halfway to her next star, which will be two red stars. So th that's, that's my team right now. These are going to be my basis of everything I do in the game going forward. Um, I unlocked a few other characters. So I unlocked Spider-Punk. I haven't put any resources in him. I've unlocked Mordo, who I'm going to need um, for a campaign later down the road. I haven't put anything into him. I unlocked Ghost Rider, who's, you know, part of the Dark Hunter team. I think he's a really good character. I have always thought he's a really good character. And then, you know, these guys who I'm not going to put anything into. Now, Daredevil, I will build Daredevil up. I'm just not going to do it right now. He is part of the Shadowlands team, which, in my opinion, is one of the top ten teams in the game. Uh, I'm, I'm just not there yet, you know, so... If you look at Shadowlands, you got Night Nurse, Moon Knight, White Tiger. Like I said, top 10 team. Um, there is an argument for replacing Elektra with the Punisher because he does more damage. But we'll explore that further down the road. Alright, so the Morbius events have started. Nope, that's not the one I want. All right, so the Morbius events have started. All right, so his the living vampire open Mystic Ascension orbs, and here's how you get them: the Fangs Out event, energy. You spend energy in raid battles, and you'll get these orbs, which are Mystic Assassin orb fragments. Now, for each milestone, you you, you get like one and a half or two, right? So. I'm at milestone 10. I mean, I don't have that much energy left to spend. But that's two orbs, that's two orbs, that's two orbs. Um, and then that goes along with here. So I'm at milestone 9. I've already got 20 out of his 100 from this. So once I reach milestone 12, there's 30. There's 40. There's 50. There's 60, there's 80, and there's my 100, and 30 more. So if I can get to milestone 32 in six days, um, then I can unlock Morbius, which will be great. Um, the little bit I've messed around with him, I think he's, I think he'll be a pretty good character. So there's my roster updates. All right, and then if we go, you know, we can take a look at where I'm at with uh, with the Doctor Voodoo, right? So there's five days left. I managed to three star a bunch more, so I'm on this one, which uh, I will do either later today or tomorrow, and then hopefully I can hop into the hard mode. However, I don't think I have five Spirit Slayer characters, so or <laughs> and I'm not level 58, so. You know, I'll keep working on Dr. Voodoo. I, I haven't really done much with my campaigns. I've just been target farming the characters that I want. You know, my secret Avengers and Nebula. Blitz, we're on the um, Maria Hill Blitz. So I'm at working on 14. I've got 8 out of 100 of her. Now, I won't get her out of this event. I, I don't think. Because, I mean... There's what? 12. What? 16. So there's 21. I mean, 21 out of 100, unless I get a huge um, 
for completion unless I get a huge knock I won't be able to unlock her but I'm well on my way to getting her I've been doing alliance wars been doing my alliance raids no offer go away we don't want you At 65, I opened Dark Dimension. At 64, I o opened the uh, real-time arena. Which, hopefully by 64, I'll have a pretty good team for the arena. For the real-time arena. Um, for my arena battles, I'm at rank 268, and I'm, I'm using these guys, obviously, right? Maybe we should set our defense. Okay, so our defense... Is the same as our offense, almost. Alright, my team power with this team where they're at right now is 52,980. So my defense is set. You know, right now I'm ranked 251. Between 250, so my rank is 268. You know, I never knew that, told you that. All right. So overall for the account, if you come in here and take a peek, total collection power, 159,542. Strongest team, 52,980. That's these guys. I haven't got war MVP, but I've only been in war for three days. Four days? Total characters collected, 41. All-time arena rank is my current one, which is 268. My Blitz rank, 5,517. I've won 164 Blitz battles. I have no no characters at max stars, obviously. I mean, I'm 21 days into the game. So that being said, 21 days into the game, and I've got, you know, three quarters of one of the best teams in the game. Philavel, Gamora, Nebula, Kestrel, again, my opinion, best character in the game. And Wolverine, who, since his read work is just uh, amazing, the amount of damage he does is disgusting. So, the only thing that could make this better, honestly, let's do it this way instead of spending all day scrolling. Infinity Watch. It is getting Moon Dragon, and I'm almost halfway there now. Now, Adam Warlock is going to take a lot of work. I may never get him. He's a legendary, and I'm not really all that concerned about legendaries right now. You know, so Moon Dragon, I'm halfway there. Where can we get Moon Dragon from? Premium orbs, launch party orbs, which you can't get anymore without you know spending some some money or some power cores, and mega orbs, which you don't get very often. Um, one thing I do want to touch on, if we go in here, is like I'm not focused on legendaries, right? But if I happen to meet the requirements to get Iron Man Tier 3, I probably will. If I have, if I randomly have the stuff, because not only are you getting the shards, but you're getting, you know, 50 power cores, 100,000 gold, you know, 250 more premium orb, orb fragments, right? So what you need for him is, is shield agents at various stars, right? So two stars, three stars, four stars, five stars. I'm not focusing on those but the rewards go along okay um, another legendary who used to be good and now he's not because of power creep is star lord and again it requires five guardians or ravagers i'm not leveling up guardians or ravagers right now so you know star lord isn't uh it, it, i don't see it happening unless i randomly come across the characters nick fury now okay so nick fury is part of unlocking Omega Red. And you need five Kree minion characters. Alright, so one star Kree minion characters to per tier one and we go up. But premium orb fragments. I have 1650 or mega orb fragments. I'm sorry, I misspoke. 2000 I get to order that and get to <laughs> get to open that. But at tier three you get a that. At tier four you get a whole one. And gold. And power cores and gold. And power cores and gold. And power cores and gold. 
All right, the princess and the symbiote. All right, so this is for Shuri. And, you know, Shuri's part of the Wakandans. But you need five Spider-Verse characters at two plus stars, right? But again, premium orbs. Or, <laughs> I keep saying premium. Mega orbs, gold. Mega orbs, gold. You know, more gold, more gold, more gold. What a million gold. All right. Then, Invisible Woman. Yes, you're going to use her later down the game, but I'm not focused. But, requires five Sinister Six characters at, you know, whatever star level. Well, guess what? Tim's working on the Sinister Six. So, you know, Mega Orbs, Gold. Like, there are benefits to doing some of this. Now, I'm not chasing Legendaries, you know. Here, the Adam Warlock event starts in a couple days. You know, let, what do we need for Adam Warlock? Okay, well, you know, that's who I can use all. I can use my current team for Tier 1, right? Tier 2, however, requires Jubilee and four X-Factor characters at 2 plus stars and gear Tier 6, right? Jubilee's a legendary. So, I'm not stressing about stuff like that you know the payday event I, I didn't have the mercenary characters because I shifted my focus um, ooh, let's do an arena battle guys let's see what's what in this beast nope don't want to fight silver surfer no I don't want cloak Let's give this one a shot. So I'm 52,980. There's 64,986. Let's see how I do with this one. Love my load screens. <laughs> Alright, so I've been making a joke to myself every time I play. Oops, did not want to do that. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, let's get rid of Wolverine first. comes Castro. That is pretty badass. Start putting Kestrel in there. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, Electra got double teamed. Normally, you gotta pay extra for that. So, that's a pretty good punch up. I only gain, you know seven points in rank, but... Well, as you can see, this account is uh, progressing quite well. We're, again, 
we're on day 21 and I think we're in a really good spot to, to carry forward. So the next thing I need to focus on is the team for Dark Dimension. I can't go in there and, and, and poke around and show you what I mean. But we're gonna we're gonna work on getting these characters here to gear tier 13. Then we are going to go into Dark Dimension 2 and try to be that like so that's my next that's my next milestone you know my next gauge of where i'm at is how easily can i defeat dark dimension 2 um dark dimension 1 you need six star characters right not gonna have any six star characters for a while so if i focus on dark dimension 2 which is just gear tier 13 then you know i can clear that and i will get ultron out of it i will get a seven star ultron when i clear that twice but most importantly i'm going to get thousands and thousands of pieces of gear i mean there is a ton of gear that you get from there um you know maybe in the next video we'll go into my my main account and we'll take a look at what you get out of that There's an idea for our next video, guys. All right, so once again, pretty groovy, man. We're, we're in a pretty good spot. I'm feeling pretty good about, about this account. And um, we're going we're gonna to call it a day. And I will check in with you folks in the next day or two. All right, everybody. Take care. I'll see you later.